all right hello everybody welcome back to my channel keeping tabs um yeah it's been a been a bit since i made a channel a channel a video i have just not been reading you know yeah got nothing else to say about that i just have not been reading and I haven't even been watching any booktube the only booktube content that i watch are reading vlogs i'm not really into wrap-ups or tbrs unless it's a readathon tbr um book hauls book unhauls i like watching book unhauls because i've been unhauling some books as you can see that's the title of the video but other than that reading vlogs is all i ever really watch in regards to booktube content so yep and i've been struggling to make my own reading vlog since i don't even know maybe like december or earlier i've started so many vlogs and none of them have made it to the final editing process so that's fun anyway let's just get to the the gist of the video this is an unhaul i have about 30 ish books here to unhaul i'm really excited about it um my shelves are nice and happy and spacious. I have this shelf, this shelf, and this shelf all freed of books. So I love that for me. Let's get into it. Okay, first book that I am unhauling is The Ruins by Scott Smith. This was turned into a movie and I loved the movie so much. It was so gory and graphic and nasty and I just liked, I, I loved it. But it's a real thick one and because i already know the story i don't know if i'll ever pick this up um i just like flipped through the book and saw the name matthias and it reminded me of shadow and bone and how great that netflix show was Ooh. anyways not ever going to read this so it's going next i have prince of thorns by mark lawrence which is one that i've always been really interested about i've heard that it was very dark and like gruesome which very much interested me for some reason but i never got around to i think i like read oh i have a bookmark in here wow it's a good thing i opened that because this is what bookmark my friend made me so yeah keeping that i am getting rid of into the darkest corner by elizabeth haynes and i bought this right after reading um you by caroline kepnes and so i really wanted another unhealthy relationship kind of like thrillerish type of book and i i think that's what this was at the time i don't really remember what the synopsis said but i remember reading it and thinking yes this will satisfy my you cravings but i never read it so there's that next book is fury born by claire legrand and i'm kind of upset not upset like i'm sad to get, let this go but also it's been sitting on my shelf for so long and I have never got the urge to pick it up so I'm just gonna let it go I might listen to it on audiobook I might listen I mean I might read it on ebook I don't know I just I just it's so beautiful it's so beautiful but yeah never read it this one hurts because I had such high hopes and I haven't read it so I don't even know if the high hopes would have been met but it is The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. And this looks like such an amazing fantasy, like really epic. And it's so thick. But for some reason, every time I like go to pick it up, I just don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's like, it's just weird. I don't know if maybe it's just, maybe it's a bad idea to unhaul books when you're in such a massive slump because I might regret these decisions, but also I'm still trying to be a minimalist. So it's good to get rid of all of these unnecessary books. I just want to keep books that I absolutely, wow, I struggled with that word, books that I absolutely love and that I know that I will reread one day. I'm also getting rid of We All Fall Down by Daniel Kalla. And this was an arc given to me and the premise sounds really cool. It's about like a pandemic that happened. So yeah, this was given to me like just in the nick of time because it was given to me in March. Sorry, it was released on March 26, 2019 and it was given to me around that time. So yeah, I still am kind of interested in this, but I don't think it's going to be one that I would reread or even read. Like I might try to find the audiobook version of this because it sounds interesting. Next, I'm getting rid of some YouTube faves. I'm getting rid of Nevernight and... Uh, what is this? God's Grave. Every time I say God's Grave, my mind like sings God's Plan by Drake, but I say God's Grave, 
but I sing it as if I'm singing God's plan. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting rid of these. Um, I do plan on reading them one day, but I've just never been interested. Like, I feel like the font is so small, and for some reason the footnotes, they just throw me off. So I'm probably going to try to find an audio version of these. Um, but also, like, I don't even know if I'll- are there three sons on here? Interesting. I don't even know if I'll ever get to these ever. I'm getting rid of this huge bind-up of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. I know that these are funny stories about, um, the galaxy and something about dolphins. I don't know. But I know that they're, like, com- 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 well, words. I know that they are comedic, so... That's why I kind of wanted to like try it like a funny sci-fi because all of the sci-fis I've read have been like serious and high stakes and just crazy. So I wanted to try this, never got to it, probably never will. And yep, that's that. Also getting rid of Stephen King's Everything's Eventual, which is a bind up of short stories. And actually, the short story, um, 1408 is in here, and I really, really liked that movie with, uh, who's in it? John Cusack? And it's, yeah, Room 1408. That's what the movie's called. This one is just called 1408. That was a really interesting movie, so I wanted to, like, read the book. I mean, the short story. But never got to it. Another one that I'm kind of sad about is uh, The Kiss of Deception and The Heart of the Trail by Mary E. Pearson. This is such a beautiful floppy book. Like, hello, this should be the standard. It's, it's wonderful. I actually really, really liked this book. This was so much fun to read and theorize and like guess who was going to be the assassin and who was going to be the prince. And it was just a lot of fun. But I don't see myself rereading it and I haven't been inclined to pick up the second book. Um, I still want to finish the trilogy. Like, this is so floppy. Like, are you seeing this? That's great. I love that. I still want to finish the trilogy, but I probably will do it via ebook or audiobook. Getting rid of Good Omens by Neil Gaiman just because, like, I've never been interested in picking it up. I am getting rid of Trafficked Girl by Zoe Patterson, which is a true story of fighting back. Nope, that's just the tagline. It's a true story of a girl who was um, abandoned, exploited, abused, and I think trafficked at one point. Wow. I don't know if I had these in my last unhaul video because I know I still have a few books from my last unhaul video that... I haven't been able to get rid of yet because we are in lockdown and we keep going in and out of lockdown so I I just always miss the window of opportunity to donate the books and now we're in lockdown again so I don't even know when I'll be able to actually get rid of these but yeah I don't know if I've showed these in my last unhaul but I'll show them again it's Gillian Flynn's two books Sharp Objects and Dark Places I listened to this one which is Sharp Objects on audio, and it was pretty fun. I really liked it, and I do want to listen to this one next. Um, I remember I started out reading this one, and for some reason just couldn't get into it. I feel like mystery thriller suspense-ish books are just the best via audio. So from now on, if I ever want to try out a mystery thriller suspense type of book, it will be via audio, so I have no need to keep the physical books. I am getting rid of And I Darken by Kirsten White, which is, I've heard, pretty good. And I'm kind of like, I'm kind of sad to let it go because I really wanted to read it at some point, but I just haven't been pulled. And I, it's been on my shelf for so long, so long. So it's time to just let it go. The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. This is an arc that was given to me, but it is a suspense thriller mystery type of book. So... I'm going to try it on audiobook because I do want to try this one. This one, like I'm still on the fence about, but I'm probably still going to unhaul it. And it is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Can you see that? There we go. Can you see that? The lighting. The Here we go. This was amazing. It was amazing. And I can't wait to finish the trilogy, but I also haven't thought about it ever in a long time so i don't know when i'll get around to finishing the trilogy but i do want to because this one was so so good so good 
Um, but it's also like, I don't think I'll ever reread it. I've had my time with it. It was an amazing story. I remember all the characters. I remember just all my feelings for the story, but I, I don't know if I would want to revisit it in the physical form. So I'm going to pass it along, but I don't know. I might keep it. Just, I don't know. This is, this is a maybe, but a, but a probably a, a maybe, but a probably going to happen. Like I'm probably going to unhaul it. But right now it's a, it's a maybe, but a solid probably. The next one I have is A Crown for Cold Silver by Alex Marshall. And this is so thick and I don't know when I'm going to read it, but I do want to. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And if I happen to pick it up via audio or ebook, then that will be that. But until then, bye bye It takes up so much space on my shelf and I have decided that I much rather prefer the mass market books to these big chunky thick massive hardcovers like I just don't need that clutter in my life I'd rather have the tiny little mass markets because they're cute and they can fit in all the purses that I own okay I also have um The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks uh this is the first of the night oh. I was looking for this bookmark everywhere this is one of my favorite bookmarks and it was in here. <sighs> Lord have mercy, I was so sad when I could not find this. This is my band-aid bookmark, handmade, and it has a little blood spot. Oh my god. I really thought I lost this forever. Whew. Um, okay, so it looks like I was reading that. <laughs> um, and I remember really liking the little bit that I did read. It started off really strong with like a really intense scene. It wasn't that intense, but if you have claustrophobia, if you're claustrophobic then yeah it was intense um but i would like to finish like read this eventually but this is just so long and i don't feel like investing my time into this um but i've heard such good things about brent weeks and this trilogy as a whole and i know that there's a really cool bind up version of all three books and it's all black with black pages like black edges and maybe i would invest in that after I read the first book on e-reader or audio but yep don't need this I have it by Stephen King I love the first movie love the second movie it was great fun and I thought I would want to read this but I actually don't care if I ever do or not so we're gonna get rid of that I have now you see me by Chris McGregor nope it's Chris McGeorge not McGregor my bad Another YouTube favorite is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, I've never been, like, inclined to pick this up. I'm kind of interested. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever read this. I feel like this type of story, I'd rather watch the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll try it, but I don't mind if I never do. Okay, I'm almost done. The next one is Empire of Wild by... Cherry or Sherry Demolaine. 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 I hate when I can't pronounce things. Another set of books that I'm kind of. Do I have a dimple? Like, is this a dimple? Have I always had that? That's really cute. Oh, I have a dimple, guys. This is new. I don't think I've always had this. That's cute okay anyway <laughs> the next three books I have is yeah I'm kind of sad and some part of me maybe wants to keep these but probably gonna let them go oh my god another bookmark lord have mercy my gin magnetic bookmark and I've been trying to find my set of seven for my bts bookmarks here's gin that's three bookmarks I'm finding wow Anyways, it is the first, second, and third books in the Fallen Kingdoms trilogy, and by trilogy I mean series because it's six books long, not three. Um, yeah, this was so much fun. Oh my god, this was such a roller coaster. So fast paced, so much action, so much, so much, just so much happening, and I loved it. I loved every second of it. I think I did a reading vlog of it. I read it like in the beginning of my channel um it was so much fun i loved it so much but i don't know if i'll ever reread this and that sucks because i got these signed um by the author like all three of them and they're personalized to me 
and I know that the series is good because I've heard so many good things about it and I know that one of my favorite booktubers loves this series but she also hates the last book in the series like the last two books so that's not really not something to look forward to when you know that um the last few books in the series are not great so yeah I'm I definitely plan on finishing this because I enjoyed the first book way too much to just abandon it completely but I don't feel the need to own them anymore and yeah I don't know just mm, mm, I don't know no I don't need it Okay, the last few books are books that I showed in my last book haul on my channel, which was, I think, like, I don't even know. But I hauled these books, haven't read them, and now I'm unhauling them. My wallet hates me right now. <laughs> okay, so first I have The City of Brass by S.A. Chakravorty, which I loved this book so much. It was so much fun. There was, like, some kind of issues not issues but just like things that just bothered me about the writing style but other than that i loved everything about it it's nice and floppy that's good stuff um i loved like the world and the setting and the characters but halfway through i started listening to it on an audiobook and i think i'm just going to continue that way um but i've had a really good time with this one and i definitely recommend it it's a great fantasy and it's really really pretty and I'm also getting rid of the sequel. This is what I hauled in my last haul and I haven't touched it and it's brand freaking new and I'm unhauling it. Also unhauling this because why the heck did I even buy it in the first place? I knew, I knew that I shouldn't have. I even told myself like we're not gonna buy that but then we bought it. And the last book that I had in my last haul is Battle Royale and yeah I just yeah I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done this I shouldn't have done this so yeah those are all of the books that I will be unhauling um at some point they're just gonna sit on the floor in my room until lockdowns lifted but yeah um I feel good letting these go my shelves feel good hopefully I will um be uploading some content but as i say those words out loud i'm realizing like that's probably not gonna happen because i'm still in a slump i have not been reading books what can i upload nothing <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching um comment down below if i'm unhauling anything that you think i should probably give a shot because these books will be sitting on my floor for a while so anything is possible thank you for watching like comment subscribe and i will hopefully see you in another video sometime within the month or two or three like even four months like i'm hoping that i can upload more stuff soon <laughs> bye